machine learning and AI technologies have become a part of our lives very recently. And to some extent, both the users and the companies are still not completely aware of all the ill effects of the technology. What you see here are some of the most alarming privacy violations and breaches that we have seen in the recent past. And there are countless instances where organizations are held responsible for misusing user data, leaking these user data, or accidentally breaching the user privacy. In the part two of data privacy episode, we'll be talking about the user's perspective and understanding what regulations have been implemented to protect the privacy rights of the people and the users. With the regulations like General Data Protection Regulation or GDPR and California Consumer Privacy Act or CCPA, users have certain rights now. One, right to information, where companies need to inform the data subjects on how and what data is being collected from them. Two, right to access, where the users have the right to access their data, which lies within the company. Three, right to rectification, where the users can ask the company to edit or rectify any piece of data that they have and they feel is inaccurate. Four, right to erasure or right to be forgotten, where the users can demand the companies to delete any or every piece of data that they have of the data subject. Right to avoid automated decision making, where the data subject has the right to avoid being subject to any decision being made solely on the automated processing, including profiling, which might have procedures of legal effect concerning the user. Six, right to restriction of processing, where the users can ask the companies to temporarily stop the processing of any data that lies with them of the data subject. Seven, right to data portability, where the users have the right to receive the personal data held by the data controller in any commonly used format and send that data to another controller or use it for their own personal purposes. Last but not the least, right to object, where the data subjects have the right to object the processing of their data in the organization, including profiling when it is on the relevant grounds. These regulations have made a major impact all across the world on how companies collect and process user data. Even with all these regulations and other laws around data localization, we are not in a great position. One reason why I say that is because of the lack of awareness. Users aren't aware of what they are signing up for. No one really reads the terms and conditions before they are creating a social media account for that matter. The users think that they are getting free technology without knowing that they are the ones who are free products to the companies who are collecting their data, analyzing them, selling their information to third parties. My concern here again is that we as users are unaware of what is being done with our data what the companies are trying to infer out of this information and what are they collecting from me. Companies are working hard towards building systems that could serve the process from their business viewpoint as well as users' privacy viewpoint. The companies are trying to balance what is called a data utility and data privacy on the same platter. One of the anticipated solutions is using federated learning systems, which I have been researching on. In the next episode, tune in to learn more about federated learning and how it works. Till then, have a good day and stay safe.